believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know. I'm glad you're here. I think I could be doing this alone. The Elder Scroll is just a bit further. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Come on, she's leading us to the scroll. What did you want? I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know. doing this alone. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know. I'm glad you're here. I think I could be doing this alone. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. 
I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. We must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he will deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quenarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quenarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the sky vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dillon, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. 
In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the ideal masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The soul cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. In my language, the Quanaran is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. You are the Dova King, the Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we get my father. Got plenty. What am I gonna do with it? Oh, sure. Keep past. Bring me then, by all means. Well, I've been so busy. How wondrous blade. So we get the scroll yeah. Of course I do. What do you want? Sure, here you go. Can't understand a word of it. Maybe it will do you some good. I wish good. you could come with me.
I'm raising a sword against that necromancer, the next, the next moment I have to call myself. Do you need something? I figured it would be more of an issue for you. Don't tell me you're that naive. Really? Oh. Wow. Alright, well... What do you think my father's going to do once we bring the bow to him? Of course he will. But at that point, he'll have everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. You'll have shown yourself to be strong, which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. Not until we have the bow, but you're right. This won't be easy, but we can handle it. <laughs> 